One of the worst ways to use ChatGPT as a project manager is to use a basic prompt like create a project plan and actually believe that these vague prompts will help you to create the project documentation that you need, help you plan your day or even prepare your stakeholder communications. In reality, most generic prompt suggestions that you'll find online clearly haven't been tested by actual project managers. And if you use them, they will result in a lot of unnecessary and painful time consuming back and forth within the AI tool, or worse, not being able to actually generate the output that is possible altogether. So in this video, let me show you how to actually use ChatGPT effectively in your day-to-day -day role as a project manager and the actual specific prompts that you should be using. But before we do, if you are tired of spending hours on project documentation, status reports, and stakeholder communications, I've created something game-changing for you. My AI for Project Managers course goes way beyond basic chat GPT prompts. You will learn an entire framework for automating the most time-consuming and repetitive parts of project management. It will help you save hours every single day. Now, the best part is that you can start implementing the techniques within minutes of enrolling. In fact, you'll get every prompt featured in this video and every other video I've posted on this channel if you do sign up. So if that does sound of interest, check out the link in the description down below. Otherwise, here are the chat GPT project management power prompts. First up, strategic project research. Now, one of the best ways to prepare for any upcoming and new project is with this prompt. Assume the role of a senior project management consultant with over 20 years of experience. I'm leading a new software development project to create a customer portal for a financial services company. Your task is to conduct detailed research and return the following. Firstly, the top three methodologies best suited for this type of project. Secondly, five common pitfalls on how to avoid them. Thirdly, key stakeholders I should identify and engage early. Specific tips for creating an effective project charter. And last, but by no means least, the critical success factors I should monitor throughout the project. Now, as you can see from the prompt on screen, there are elements you will need to update depending on your own context. So I'm leading a new software development project to create a customer portal is an example of this. Nevertheless, this prompt follows the 80-20 rule by only asking for information relevant to the initial planning phase of your project. It will give you a solid overview of the methodologies to consider, potential obstacles, stakeholder mapping guidance, and success metrics to track. In fact, I used this exact approach when I was assigned a complex ERP implementation last year, and it saved me hours of upfront research. Use case number two, detailed risk analysis. Speaking of prompting ChatGPT to generate an entire document with one prompt, that's a terrible idea because you'll always end up with generic and predictable outputs. This is why I use the cascade prompting technique instead. So in this context, I'm going to be showing you how we can do it with a risk register. But rather than using one prompt to create the entire document, we are going to break it into parts and use separate prompts to generate each section. So this is how you can do it. So the first prompt that you put into ChatGPT up front is this. Assume the role of a risk management expert in project management. For the rest of this conversation, I will first share my project overview. No need to take additional action if you understand. Respond with ready to analyze risks. And you can see on screen that ChatGPT has responded accordingly. At which point in the same conversation, you would follow up with your project specifics. So as an example, this is as much context that I can give at this precise moment and you'd need to do the same. But I'm implementing a new cloud-based CRM system for a mid-sized insurance company with 200 employees. The project timeline is six months with a budget of $350,000. The team consists of three in-house developers, two business analysts and external vendor support. Now, the specifics I've put, put here aren't important. What's important is that you give as much context as possible. 
So you submit that, wait for the response, and then you can go back in with this prompt, which is the second follow-up, if you like. Analyze this project and identify the five highest probability risk categories we should focus on. For each category, explain why it's particularly relevant to this type of project. Now, after getting your response, you can continue with the next prompt. Now, for the first risk category, and then you'd insert the first category chat GPT identified in a previous step. Help me identify three specific risks within this category that could impact my project. For each risk, provide one, a clear risk statement using if then format. Two, the potential impact on budget, schedule and quality. And then thirdly, the early warning signs I should watch for. Now you can repeat this process for each risk category. And once you've done that, you can then ask, Based on these risks, what are the three most effective preventative actions that I should take immediately? And why are they critical to implement before the project kickoff? So yeah, we have used multiple prompts instead of one, but the detailed risk analysis that you get out of this is well worth the extra effort. Use case number three, stakeholder communication plans. Now, the next use case is one of the worst I've seen yet, if not properly implemented, though tons of people rave about it. And it's relying on AI to generate generic stakeholder emails. But as I've hopefully established by now in this video, the more tailored our communications, the higher the chances of stakeholder buy-in. Now, AI makes the process more efficient, but it doesn't replace the strategic thinking we need to do. That's why I use my stakeholder orchestration approach. So first, we need to create a simple stakeholder matrix in a spreadsheet with four quadrants. So you can see that on screen. High power, high interest, high power, low interest, low power, high interest, and low power, low interest. So at the top, you can see I've put in some information regarding how we should communicate with those stakeholders. And at the bottom, I've just put some placeholder stakeholder. So you could use either one of these. Um, you could copy and paste either one into ChatGPT. Then for each stakeholder or group, use this prompt. You are an expert in strategic project communications. I need to create a tailored communication approach for a stakeholder with high or low power and high or low interest in my project. This stakeholder is, and then you can put a brief description of the role department and their key concerns. Help me craft one, the optimal communication frequency and channel, two, the key messages to emphasize that will resonate with their priorities, third, information I should avoid or be careful about presenting, and also a short template for my first update to them that establishes the right tone. Now, what's powerful about this approach is how it forces you to think strategically about each stakeholder's unique position and interests rather than sending the same generic update to everyone. Now, when I use this on a recent digital transformation project, our executive sponsor specifically commented on how well targeted our communications were. He just, it, it is exactly what he wanted to see and hear. Use case number four, process optimization. Next, we have one of the best chat GPT use cases for project managers. What you can do is you can learn from proven frameworks and apply them to your specific situation, what I call framework fusion. For example, if you want to improve your project kickoff process, assume the role of a project management consultant with deep expertise in project kickoffs. I will share my current kickoff process and your task is to enhance it using best practices from both agile and traditional methodologies. My current process includes, and then you can document those, paste them in, analyze this process and suggest five specific improvements that would firstly increase stakeholder alignment, secondly, better capture and validate requirements, thirdly, set more realistic expectations, fourthly, establish clearer team accountability, and then lastly, better identify potentially risks. For each improvement, explain why it works, based on proven project management methodologies and how I would implement it with minimal disruption. Incredibly useful. I would strongly recommend you give this a go. Now, use case number five, project documentation transformation. So now we're gonna to turn to the experts by leveraging their frameworks. So as an example, 
someone in my organization this is fictional but nancy jefferson present she has a, a range of presentation principles or say jeff sutherland who has scrum guidelines he likes to use uh, on each project we can leverage these to transform how we create project documents so in action this is what it would kind of look like so I've read that Jeff Sutherland recommends specific principle from Scrum. Based on this principle, your task is to analyze my current sprint planning document and give me five specific recommendations on how I can improve it to better align with proven Scrum practices. Be as detailed as possible and think step by step. Here's my current sprint planning document and then you can paste it in or depending on what version of ChatGPT you're using, you could actually attach it as well. Now I've just used a fictional person, Jeff Sutherland. You could use anyone here. It could be someone within your organization. It could be someone online. It could even be someone famous or someone within the project management space. Now, what this will do is it will give ChatGPT specific expert principles and with your actual document means that you'll get something very high, you know, highly targeted and you'll get actionable recommendations as well. I actually use this process to overhaul our team's status reporting templates and it led to much more engaged stakeholder meetings. Now, here's a bonus tip for you, and it's using what is known as the STAR method and you can use it specifically for project achievements. So the STAR method, essentially, you'll see it in this prompt, is situation, task, action, result. Now, what you can do is you can use this prompt. You are an expert project management coach with over 20 years of experience. I will share a project achievement I've accomplished. Your task is to rewrite it using the STAR method. Situation, what was the context? Task, what was needed? Action, what did I do specifically? And result, what measurable outcomes were achieved? Use compelling language and keep the description within 100 words. Here's my achievement. And then you just paste it in or type it in. Now, this is without doubt the lowest effort, highest impact tip in this entire video. If you do nothing else, try this out. And I promise you that your project portfolio or even your resume will receive an instant upgrade. Once you start implementing these prompts, you'll soon notice how impactful and how much time you can save with chat GPT. I hope this video is useful. If it was, please let me know down below and leave a comment if you've got any questions or just want to leave some general feedback. And remember, if you want to fast track your route to leveraging AI in your project management position, my AI for project managers course is for you. It takes everything we've discussed today, but it goes way deeper. It's over two hours of practical hands-on training. And the best part is, it's purposefully and surprisingly affordable. I've kept it, the price, as low as possible because I truly believe every project manager should have access to these career changing skills. So just click the link in the description down below to learn more and you can join thousands of other project managers who are already saving hours every day using AI. And with that said, best of luck over to you and I hope you have an excellent day.